about um, No Rules and Farhang Foundation hosting such a great event to give people like you an opportunity to shine? To be honest with you, I tell everybody what Farhang Foundation did was the best thing ever happened to every Iranian here. I think the most beautiful presentation of Nowruz for the artists, the support they're giving to the artists. It's wonderful and I'm blessed to be a part of it. Farhang is doing wonderful events, putting fantastic things together and introducing our culture and our background to our neighbors and friends in, in our new uh, homeland uh, or hopefully temporary homeland of the United States. What's your advice to filmmakers or actors that are new to this industry? What kind of advice can you give? Uh, uh, well, I believe the best advice is just to keep doing it. Don't stop. I mean, is uh, what's, what's important is what you feel inside your heart. I mean, that's the most important thing. The rest of it, it doesn't matter what people are thinking about your work. Uh, it comes from it comes from your heart. I think it's great that Farhang Foundation has um, events like this. I mean, all film festivals are good for future directors and and, uh, and future filmmakers and uh, this is really great I, I really admire that and why do you think this event is important and why do you think an organization like Farhang Foundation is so important? I think giving opportunity to young filmmakers no matter what it's it's a it's a big uh, step and it's it's a great opportunity I remember when I was you know student in, in, in Vienna as a young student, I was, you know, grabbing every opportunity to show my music or, or you know, my art. And uh, events like this would really open up doors for, for young, talented artists. And this is one of them. And I'm, I'm really very proud to be part of, you know, tonight's event. Uh, what advice could you give to beginners that are in this industry and that are maybe here tonight and that are submitting their films? Don't do it. <laughs> that's the that's my advice do not do it go be a doctor I'm just kidding I just because you know as a, as, a, as a child I was always told to be a doctor or an engineer or something else but um, you know it's it's wonderful that the advice is like you know get into this if you if this is your passion if this is the only thing in the world you want to do because I, I I'd be perfectly honest with you it's not an easy business it's a very difficult business and you got to have thick skin. Uh, what do you wish that people take away from tonight? Um, I think they will take away the diversity of uh, creativity in the Persian culture from around the world and the fact that there is something that uh, ties us all together. Wow, and what is important to consider when it comes to, um, you know, viewing all the submissions and choosing the top nominees? We uh, first and foremost look for creativity and quality and also some connection. It doesn't have to be a very direct connection, some kind of a hint or connection to the Iranian culture, history, uh, arts, anything, some connection. Uh, we had a lot of fun putting together a film that makes people laugh and have fun. I think a lot of Persian films are very deep and sensitive and very sad. We want to make something exciting that everyone would laugh and have a good time about. You know, one year ago today, we decided I'm going on a Noru's comedy tour. We put it together. I asked Steve Goody, I said, can we film it? And he volunteered his time and uh, I've had to pay him ever since, which is weird. Yeah. Why do you think an event like this, like a film festival, is important? Well, I think this is really important. You know, I'm a filmmaker and this is what I do all the time. And, you know, I think like an event like this can bring cultures together and find cultural understanding. You know, the reason that this documentary really, really subscribed to me was because I felt like, you know, there's a real misconception about Iranian people. And as I've gone through this whole process, learning more and more about Persians, you know, I feel like, you know, there's nothing that different between us. Like, and we can come together through events like this and through comedy and art and culture. And, um, right. you know, Maybe uh, actually learn something from each other. This is very nice. This is a great opportunity for uh, newcomers, the people who they want just to uh, promote their works, you know. And uh, I see a lot of talented guys, nice results. And yeah, this is a good one. That's why I submitted my work. I was looking for such this event. Great opportunity, Iranian culture.
and it's uh, exactly the same time as New Year, Iranian New Year. I appreciate it, the time and effort and everything. So how, do you, how does it feel to be part of the top six nominees tonight? It's an honor. I'm honestly very surprised and I know there are a lot of really talented filmmakers that had great films. Um, and so I'm very proud and very excited to be here tonight. I think it's great to have something like this to showcase what other artists are doing. Um, a lot of times, especially artists that are just starting out, they're, they don't have a place to, to have um, a showcase of their work. And there's so many talented people out there, so I think it's important in order to see what everyone's doing, people that are um, very talented and just don't have the, uh, the means to showcase that. Being in this industry yourself, what is your advice to other people that are starting out as new beginners and what is your advice for the artists tonight? There's so many great artists around, so you just have to work very hard to, to, to rise up, that's all. You know, do your best and love what you're doing, that's, that's the key. Um, it's always great to see um, our Farhang um, <laughs> uh, in the other places rather than Iran. So we, uh, you know, as Iranian, we're always proud to be Iranian. So this is this is amazing to have all these great people all together at one place. And when did you start out your career? And was it a hobby first, or was it serious from the beginning on? Uh, from the beginning, I loved animation. Um, so I think I always stayed young inside, um, child inside. <laughs> submissions from all around the world, from the Far East to Europe, to Canada, to India, to the US, of course, and from Iran. And what made this year so special was that we saw some entries from some very remote places, which really speaks to how grand this film festival has become and how many people are interested in it. We saw some submissions from places like Charlus and Urumye, some small towns in the northern parts of Iran, which was pretty exciting to see. And from the 110 submissions, we have narrowed it down to our top six finalists this evening. We have one film from Canada, three films from the US, and two films from Iran. All of these films um, have touched on a different part of life of Iran. Okay, the third place winner is Lady with the Flower Hair. <laughs> I believe accepting on her behalf is Mariam Tufan. Please come to the stage. Hi. Um, first of all, I'm not Sarah. Um, I'm her friend. I'm accepting this uh, award on behalf of Sarah, who unfortunately cannot be here. Uh, she's in Iran, which right now is early morning, and uh, she probably is sleep, still sleep, sleeping. Uh, she would like to thank everyone that contributed to make this happen. It's such an uh, honor to accept this award. By the way, happy Nowruz to Persians. Before I open this, I have to tell you guys, um, I have lots of respect for all the filmmakers. I saw all the films, they were magnificent, and I learned a lot. Thank you so much. Thank you for sharing your talent with us. So, and the second place goes to... <laughs> Kayvon. <laughs> Splash of Nowruz. <laughs> I love Nowruz. It's the best time of year. May I start by saying, Ede Shoma Mubarak! Yeah! I want to apologize. None of my comedy will be in Farsi tonight. Not even a little bit. I know, it's a shame. And if you want to blame someone, don't blame the organizers, don't blame me, blame my dad. I'll give you his email address, okay? You know where my dad raised our family? Reno, Nevada.
Thank you. Okay. Well, I just want to say uh, thank you very much. Uh, how about a big hand for everyone that put together a film for this beautiful festival? Thank you, Fairhang Foundation. Uh, the reason I had to introduce my audience and teach them about Nowruz is because I didn't know anything about it myself. Uh, Nowruz is a holiday where you give kids gifts, candy, and new clothes, and my dad didn't tell me about it. <laughs> Uh, I became homeless in the last year to make more funds to make this and the full one hour documentary coming out and uh, because of that people opened their home and their guest houses to me and I bothered them so much so thank you to all the Iranians and Iranian Americans uh, doesn't matter what you want to do follow your dreams and make your art seen and it will be a benefit to the Iranian American community thank you Farhang for giving us a platform good luck Eide Shoma Mubarak to each of you thank you very much Salam Mubarak Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, fellow artists and dear friends. I am so thrilled to be here with you tonight and so thrilled to have seen so many good works tonight. I must admit, I am amazed and moved by some of our works tonight. Amazed by the amount of imagination and creation and moved by the amount of work that every filmmaker tonight had put into his work of art. Thank you so much for entertaining us so beautifully. Without further ado, allow me to tell you who is going to take the first prize home. The first prize goes to Mr. Mean by Cash Art Canada. خانوم خونه واسه آقا آش میکنه گرم ولی از فکر قدیما که نمیشه گذشت وقتی آقای پس دلشو شکست And that's going to be hard following this many great people. Eda to Mubarak. Happy New Year. Happy Nowruz. Man, it's great to be here. I wish Vahid and Hajar were here with us. Um, they're just amazing friends, amazing artists, and amazing partners. Without them, this would not be possible. Thank you, guys. We party when we get back. All right, so I'd like to thank Farhang Film Festival for this great opportunity. Um, it's, it's an honor to be here in front of you guys. Thank you so much for this generous award. I wish our partners could be here with us tonight. And Tonno Mubarak.